Oh, you've had the amateurs. Let's have a professional. What do we make of so these? So you did. You guys did a great job. <laughs> Thanks. Um, All right, we're gonna switch. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So yeah, it's a, it's a benign number. Uh, we were expecting a pullback a bit from August, and we we saw that. I think um, in terms of how this impacts Fed policy, look, the Fed has said they're going to do one more this year, more or less, and then three next year. I think that's completely on track. And remember that monetary policy happens with a lag. So the Fed also needs to think about concurrent data that's coming in with this data, right? So that would be data about what companies say they're going to do with regard to wages. That would be data with regard to uh, where wages ha were in the last jobs report. So they're taking all that into account when thinking about um, how to move forward with policy. So, Mark, the president uh, has commented again on the Fed. <laughs> Even though Senator Portman just said he shouldn't, <laughs> the president has commented again over on Fox News. He said that the Fed is getting a bit too cute, to use his words. Well, this is, a, as Constance just said, this is a bit of a breather for the market. And as Alex said, the, the bond market's taken a little bit of a uh, reversal here. And I think that's, that's a good sign for some stability in the market and maybe that'll take some of the um, you know require the, the president to not tweet as much if rates come down and the Fed is uh, put back in, in the box.